Okay, dear students, let us see another question. Seems to be very good. P and S are two points on a gravitational equipotential surface. It is already given. This is equipotential. So the potential is the same for P, S. And uh, Q, R are two points on different gravitational equipotential surface. This is also equipotential. So the potential at Q is equal to potential at R. Potential at P is equal to potential at S. The greatest work done by the gravitational force. So these are the golden words we have to note. And this is what I was um, mentioning in uh, some uh, earlier questions that whenever somebody is framing the, these questions, they must frame this thing. They must write this thing. They must give this thing that are they talking about the work done by the gravitational force or are they considering work done by external agency or what? So that has to be given there. In this question, particularly, they have given, we are concentrating on work done by the gravitational force. Is when moving a mass from? Okay, P to S. So P to S are like, what is the work done I told you? Step one, you find delta V by V final minus V initial. Step two, find the change in the potential energy. And how is it that fine? Like we are just going to find Q into delta V. Step three, the work done is, equal to negative of the potential energy be very careful as i've told you in earlier cases this uh, satellite or this point is not moving in the circular orbit no this is just simple points that is why we are not using total energy so work done is this now when they talk about work done work done from p to s the potential is same so there is no question of doing work done when the point is moving on one equipotential surface so the work done here is zero Q to R is also zero. So A and B are definitely wrong. Work done in A and work done in B is zero because the potential is not changing. Now R to P. So whether you call it R to P or you call it R to S, one is the same thing because potential of P and S is the same. So either it goes like this or it goes like this. The work done will be same. Be very careful. These are the steps we want to follow. So the potential of P and S are the same. So Instead of uh, thinking from R to P, we think from R to S. And the D option is S to R. So D option is S to R. So now we are interested in work done by the gravitational force. By the gravitation. So gravitational force is always acting downwards. So it would be positive in the case of R to S. So R to P, it would be positive. And in S to R, the, the work done by gravity will be negative. Because gravity is attracting it downwards, but the point is moving away from it, from the planet. So the work done by gravity is negative. So from S to R, it is negative. From this, it is positive, but they are indeed equal to each other in the magnitude. But because it is written, we want to find the work done by gravitational force. Positive will be more than negative. So the answer will definitely be C. And let us see what is the answer. And yes, the mark scheme is also saying that the answer is C. So my dear students, this is how we think when it comes to the work done. This is a really beautiful question. I would say highly conceptual. You have to understand it thoroughly, thoroughly. Like what is happening here? Watch this video a couple of times. Everything will fall in place. Okay, my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye. <clears throat>